Marvel Rivals Season 1, Mesh Modding is back. That's right, it has returned. Through the effort of some terrific modders, Repack has been updated to handle mesh mods. It does not work for every mesh mod that worked previously. You're going to have to wait for some of these authors to update their files. There's going to be some important information in this video, so I'm going to start at the very beginning of what you need to do to enable modding for Marvel Rivals, and then I'm going to move into how to apply the new mods so you may already be caught up and be UI modded and sound modded for Season 1. Terrific. All you're going to have to do is repack the mesh mods you want and drop them in the mod folder. But if you're new here and you've never seen a mod and you've never done a mod for Season 1, I'm going to show you the things you're going to need to do to enable that, very quickly get into the game, and add these mods. I'm going to add some of the mods I've already converted into the video description along with the repack link so you can find the repack file you're going to need and you can find any mods that I've already converted already waiting for you. Make it easy for you and allow you to get right into the game. Now, first thing you're going to need to do for this. Step one, you're going to need to open the game folder. The easiest way to do this is in your library in Steam, right click on Marvel Rivals, choose Manage, Browse Local Files. This will open the folder that you're going to need. It is the Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps Common, Marvel Rivals in most cases. Once you're inside this folder, you're going to open Marvel Game. This is the folder that has the EXE inside of it. Go into the Marvel folder, go into Content, and Packs. Now, this is the first thing you're going to do. Step one is to get into this folder and update the patch files to remove the priority tag. What does the underscore P do, Vegeta? Papa, what it does is it tells the game to prioritize the file. It's very, it's very important for Unreal Engine that it sees the P and goes, hey, these are the important files, load these last, overwrite anything else. So we're just gonna tell the game not to do that. We're gonna delete the underscore P from the end of both Windows patch files inside the pack folder. At this point, your game is set up to now allow mods. You're going to right click inside this folder and do new folder, or you can click new folder here, and you're going to do a sudo, which is the tilde, it's above the tab key, hold shift, push that, and call it mods. Now I already have a folder in here named that, so I'm not gonna create it fresh, but now you know how to do that. So once you've created the mods folder, if you didn't have it, you're gonna add your mods in here. So we're gonna have to repack some mods to get them working. Once the updates have been done by the mod authors, all you're gonna need to do is go into this mods folder and add those mods. So any of the pre-converted mods that I've got available in the description link, you can add straight to your mods folder and they'll work right away. As long as you update the pack file that is inside the patch folder here to underscore P, delete that, it will no longer prioritize these patch files. It will now prioritize these mods, okay? That's all you gotta do. Once you've done that, you add your mods. So how do we unpack and repack mesh mods that we wanna use? Perfect question. First, you're gonna download the repack rivals version meshfix.d zip file from the description. We're gonna unpack this. If you don't have a zip archiver, you're gonna either use WinZip, which should come with Windows, or WinRAR, which I would suggest you get it from rarlab.com. It's totally free. Download it from whatever platform you have and have a ball. You do not have to pay for it. It will ask you if you want to buy it all the time, but you can say no, keep trying, close, get out of here. You're gonna unpack this. I like to do it by holding right click, dragging in here and hitting extract here. You can open the folder and drag them in. You can put them in another folder if you want. Most important thing is you have a place where all four of these files are in one place. Now, let's grab a mesh pack from an earlier version of this game and convert it. Give me one second while I pull that together. There they are. Now, we have our two pack files. This is for a Malice mod that was created by Fishboy Does Mods. I have two pack files here. One's for the lobby, one's for in-game. Sometimes they'll be combined. But the most important thing is we're just gonna do one at a time. We're gonna left click and drag onto unrepack.bat. This is gonna run a quick little command, hit enter, and now you have a folder. It deletes the pack file for you. Thank you very much, Incubator, for updating repack. I'm sure you have a backup copy of the old mod if you wanna keep it. If not, it's not a big deal, but when you unrepack the mod, it will delete the pack file afterwards. Now, once you've done this, you have two folders. Hey, congratulations, if you're bringing yourself in, from not having pack files from the loose modding method at the end of season zero into season one, this is where you are. You have these folders because inside these folders is the standard Marvel content, Marvel characters, blah, blah, blah. So 
All you're gonna do now, you're caught up. So if you had packed files, now you're here. If you had unpacked files, now you're here. From this point, you're gonna drag one of these folders into repack folder.bat. That batch file will create a new pack file. Do the same for the other one, repack folder.bat. Now you have these. We're gonna take these packs, we're gonna move them over to the mod folder, and we're gonna drop them in here. Once you've dropped them in here, you're ready to launch the game. So all you had to do, so you undid the priority on the original files. Then you import your mods into repack. This fixes the mesh. In the case that you attempt to repack a file and do not get a packed file, there will be an error in that readout. That means it will not work. The mod needs to be updated by its author. In its current state, it will not work. The mesh is not referenced properly. There's something wrong in it. And you're going to need to wait for that mod to, it, author to update it, or you're not going to be able to use that mod anymore. But a lot of the other mods do work. So you're going to have to try some of the ones that you've got sitting around that maybe are your favorite mods. But for me, right here, I can prove it's working. And if we go into practice range, test it out. Let's see if the game will actually launch and let us in, see if these models show up in games. Oops. I guess I kept some of my uh, other elements in here. Game works. Use all my abilities. I can even switch to the one and only Luffy again. Boom. Bam. Slap. Tickle. Punch. Kick. And he still turns. Gear four. Bam. Big boy time. So there you go. Mods are working again. Have fun. If you have any questions, let me know in the description below. Like and subscribe if this video helped you out and enjoy the pre-converted mods in my folder. Have a great day.